and welcome to the show. So here is the Ziki tablet and I did everything. I said I'd be back to finish off the final review. Shout out Free Geeks. How you doing guys? Hang in there. All right, uh, Nerdbot for all your Nerdbot stuff. I always do Sticker Meal and of course I always forget to say XDA for all the tablet stuff. I gotta go to the XDA for all the tablet stuff. So anyhow, as it's booting up, let's go over real quick. Um, Ziki, if you can remember, was a kid's tablet. It was very aimed at kids. I would not recommend this for any adults. <laughs> this is perfect for something in the back of your car, like it came with all the stuff to hang with it. I would not recommend this for me, myself, or anything like that. It's just not, it's just not, it's just not that great. Sorry. Um, I did get a chance to play around with YouTube and stuff like that. And it has a DVD player, and I'm, I'm not going to go into the DVD player because it does work, but I'm not going to play any videos or anything. So, I did the Antutu Antu uh, benchmark. Uh, my score, I don't know if the score will come back up, but the score was like 29215, un, unmentioned. And of course, a lot of times they fix it, so the score goes a little bit higher than normal. It's got the Melee uh, T7020 in it. Uh, four core arms, Cortex, A53, 64-bit. So, um, we'll cancel that. So, anyhow, I already did the test, and ranking should be right here. So, you can see the regular rankings of all the tablets, and mine usually came up as unknown. Here's uh, some of the specs you can see right off to the side. I didn't talk about the cameras, because I don't think you really need a camera, or I don't even think it has a camera. No, I don't. No, there's no cameras on it. That was one thing I forgot about. There's, there's no cameras or anything on this. So, but you can see there's the 7.0, 64, but it's getting ready for an update, like I said in the other video. This is just a recap. Uh, it does have G features, and of course, you know, the only thing I really thought was kind of cool was that if you do have it, and it's sitting down somewhere, you can sit it, you can set it up like this, if you want to. So, which, that's kind of cool. So, that's, kind of, glad to see that. So, I thought Ziki was gone. I could have swore I did research that Ziki had folded up. But apparently they're back, but this is almost the same thing as the 7-inch tablet. And the 7-inch tablet said it was for, you know, whatever group of people, and it, it just didn't fly for me. It, it just, the tablet always had trouble. Almost almost like everybody picking on the Trio and stuff. Uh, trio, some of them ran great, and some of them they just didn't run good at all. So, uh, I'm just going to say let's wrap this up. Um, we'll go back home. And go back home again. So, oh, um, there we go. So, oh yeah, and I installed real quick. I installed a bunch of games. So, um, get off of there. Yeah. So I did install some games to to test it. I you push this button here and it installs a bunch of little games and stuff. For back of the car, sitting it like I said, strapping it, and putting the video in, or playing anything. For your kids, great. This is not an adult tablet at all. Um, I do not like the screen. It's very, well, I don't want to say cluttery look to it. It's very, almost like a fogginess. There's no extra film to peel up, so I know there's nothing there. It's very cloudy, not very clear. But I think if you just put it up in the back of the car and you're just throwing your kid back there and it's a five, six, seven year old, they're going to enjoy watching or playing with it. Uh, and it's not that expensive that if something happened to it, great for car or vehicle driving around. So I think that's how I'm going to wrap it up. So please like, please subscribe, have a great rest of the weekend. This was the Ziki 10-inch uh, um, plus DVD, what? Plus DVD, what? Uh, player. Uh, so I guess that's going to end it. So if you're out there, just, this is my opinion, only my opinion. Uh, the thing that threw me, I would say the thing that threw me off the most about it, was the clarity of the screen. Not very clear. So that's where I'm going to end it.